Hello, this is Moon Goddess 114433. If you're new to my channel, thank you for watching. Welcome. This video is for Aries, Sun, Moon, or Rising. This is for the New Moon in Libra. The um, <laughs> Venus has went retro. We're going to see how this is affecting your relationship. So, <clears throat> I'm going to start off using the Vice Versa Tarot. So, we can see where you are during this situation. <laughs> What's going on with you, Aries? Now, I do resonate as a divine feminine, and so that's how I read. If you are a masculine watching, just take it how you resonate. Spirit, what is going on with Aries? Give us the update with Aries, please, Spirit. So you got the Page of Wands. Now this is the original, this is the original side of the Page of Wands, where he offers, where he offers his big stick. <laughs> but you got the other side. You got the uh, Page of Wands back side. I mean, I love that card. I think it's a beautiful card. The High Priestess. And the Five of Wands. This is the original side of the Five of Wands. And you got the back side with the Volcano. So let me see, Aries, what you got going on here. Okay, <clears throat> sorry about that. So, um, with this card, of course, we have the Phoenix rising out of the ashes. Um, for your reading, what I'm getting from Spirit is um, I'm being drawn actually um, for your reading to his his cloak. Um, Usually when we wear a cloak, we're disguising, hiding, and it's causing 
especially with the high priestess. The high priestess is represents hidden things that are hidden, hidden knowledge. And between the priestess and the man with the cloak on, there's things that's unknown. It's like I'm hearing neither one of you are like really <laughs> neither one of you are really opening up you're, you're kind of holding back both of you are holding back with each other is causing misunderstandings to fuel Passionate miscommunication exploding. Between the masculine and the feminine, there is, yeah, miscommunication. Um, passionate, <clears throat> explosive. reactions to each other. Because of unknowns. Because of your separate perspectives. Because see, he's, he's facing this way. So he has this perspective from this point of view. And then this one is facing forward. They have a perspective from this point of view. Okay, let's see. Let's get more into the reading. Spirit, please tell me what is in the Divine Feminine's headspace. What does she think about her Divine Masculine? She thinks he is the King of Fire. So... <clears throat> she sees him as someone who is courageous, charismatic, loyal, passionate. That's how she sees him. That's what she thinks of him. There's a lot of fire there. He is the king of fire. A lot of fire in these cards. There's a lot of passion in these cards. So, hmm. Aries. So, what does the divine <coughs> masculine think of the divine feminine? in these cards. Looks like y'all said not in a firestorm. Divine Masculine think in his head about the Divine Feminine, his feminine spirit. Okay, 
It says challenging times. So what does he think about her? How does he th see her? <clears throat> well, he sees her as guarded. This person has a shield over their heart. Like, don't come any closer. They're like, not gonna... Yeah, they're not gonna let you in. They're not gonna... Uh-uh. That's how he sees his feminine, as someone who is guarded. It's a challenge to um, communicate because, I mean, how can, you, how can you communicate with someone who has their guard up like that? Okay. So, Spirit, let's see what is in the Divine Feminine's heart space for her masculine. How does she feel for her masculine? masculine? <laughs> Where's her emotions for her masculine? How does she feel for her masculine? <laughs> you probably hear um, my daughter and my granddaughter in the background. They're playing. <laughs> okay. And we have the maiden card. So in her heart. <clears throat> So, <laughs> so this is, so I'm seeing this is why. <clears throat> The Divine Masculine kind of holds back a little bit is because she's she has a little bit of a modesty um, towards him. I mean, here he is, this strong, charismatic man who she sees as powerful and strong and dominant and... <clears throat> She's feeling a little modest. I mean, here she is igniting passion in her, you know, lighting her up with all this fire energy. And she's feeling a little modest. I mean, she's, she's blossoming. She's got, she got love blossoming. But at the same time, she's tiptoeing. <clears throat> Let's see how the Divine Masculine feels for his feminine. Where's his heart space at for this feminine? This reading. So I'm feeling like all of this um, fire energy is kind of intimidating this um, divine feminine on just a little bit. And she's blossoming, but she feels just a little intimidated. She's, 
She's wanting to take it a little slow. And it's just kind of sparking, you know, maybe she's not used to that. And it's kind of sparking miscommunication, misunderstanding. Let's see where his heart is. And that's why he sees her as a challenge. And he thinks she's guarded. He's miscommunicating. He's misunderstanding that. In his heart is the rebuild card. So see how she's protecting that? The angel's protecting that. So what I'm getting from this, in his heart, he wants to cherish his divine feminine. He wants something that he can rebuild with. And that's why I'm getting that um, he may see it as a challenge, but he's willing to take on that challenge. Look at all this light in this card. The sun's shining down. Just, just guarding and cherishing that, that heart energy right there. Just that love. Yeah, he definitely has some love in his heart for his Divine Feminine. So, Spirit, what, what advice do you have with the Romance Angels cards do you have for Aries? new love so what I'm getting from this card is to take it slow that I'm, I'm seeing that with all this ignited passion that maybe because with the wands especially usually they rush in and that it, it passion is ignited so quickly and that's probably what intimidated the Divine Feminine. And so what I'm seeing is maybe y'all need to slow down a little bit. Take it slow. Um, whether this is a new love or you've been in it for a few months or, or a year or however long you've been in it, treat it like it's brand new. Like you're just getting to know each other. Meet each other for a date and talk to each other like you've never met before like it's a blind date get to know each other all over again make a game out of it make it fun that's what i'm hearing so aries i hope this resonated with you i hope you enjoyed your reading if you did comment like share subscribe and, and for the rest of the, your month, I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful month. Much love and light and abundance. Namaste.